check my top knot. I don't know what I think about it. It's coming out though, so it's kind of a fail. <laughs> uh, I never bob on top of it to probably make it worse. Okay, I just made my bun worse. Just ignore it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if the lighting's kind of weird. It's quite dark outside, so I'm just using my lamp. Don't know why I just did that. That's just the thing I've been doing. So today's makeup, I am going to be doing a. Uh, the, the, the. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's inspired makeup look. And no, I don't have a boyfriend or Valentine, I'm just doing this for fun because I like pink. First, I use my MUA Skin Define Hydro Primer. It's that one. And this really makes my makeup last. It's great. It's hydrating and cooling as well. Feels nice. I'll just put it all over my face. Just slap it on, you know? <laughs> just gonna take it down my neck a bit because I use too much. <laughs> You do. It's in a top knot bun and it's coming out here a bit so just ignore my hair please because I can't be bothered to do anything with it. Okay so now I'm going to be testing out actually this new thing I got today. It's um if you know Superdrug they have this company called B and I got a beauty blender from there and that's the company. Wait, can you hear that? This was literally half the size of this. It's bloody huge. And it kind of feels weird, but um, I think my Real Techniques one felt weird at first as well. I think you just have to have a few goes with it. But I'm just going to apply my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour, which is in True Ivory. And if you want full coverage and long lasting, this is the foundation for you. <laughs> as you probably know already because everyone uses this. I'm just going to use this end here. Oh, this feels so wrong. I don't know why. Also, I realise I keep putting my mirror in the way and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that actually is really nice. Just a little review for you on this beauty blender. But it, sound it doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> just realised that. It sounds like I'm smacking myself. But it's actually really gentle. Very squishy. So that's an alternative to the beauty blender. And also it's pink! Goes with um, Valentine's, doesn't it? And I got a pink top on, obviously. <laughs> now I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution um, what's it called? <laughs> Concealer in C1 under my eyes. Oh, I was going to colour correct my face, but I forgot. I'm just gonna do the concealer on my face first. Where's the pointy end for concealer? The end's actually really nice and pointy. Okay, now I'm gonna bake with my Maybelline Master Fix loose powder. Ooh, there's a bit of hair on there. Ooh, it's in it! Ooh! I'm just gonna bake with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to bake in the areas that get really oily. Now I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid on the high points of my cheeks. I'm just going to blend that out. That didn't blend very well, did it? Me and liquid highlights don't mix very well. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with my L'Oreal Brow Pomade in the colour Warm Blonde. I'm just going to dust away my bake and then set the rest of my face. Now for blush today I'm going to be using my Bourjois one, which I don't know what the name is, but I'm just going to use that. Blush isn't very pigmented so it's really good if you're a pale skin like me. Now I'm going to go into my NYX 3 Steps to Sculpt 
then we use the contour shade and for contouring I'm going to use this big fan brush and just dip that in. What I do is I get to the top of my ear to the back. Oh, that didn't go well. I'm just contouring my head because I have a big one. Not that it helps. <laughs> I'm just going to go into that light shade and do a bit of bacon and uh, I'm just going to cut my contour. Because I overdid it a bit. For this to settle a bit, I'm going to go into highlight. I use my trusty old collection one, which is from this sculpt and highlight one. And highlight on the cheekbones, and you know the usual highlighted places, and under my brow bone. which I've been doing it here recently. I'm now going to go in with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm going to brush away this powder. And now I have a cut which is great because I overdid my contour a bit. Now it's time for eyes. I'm going to go in with my MUA makeup palette, the Tropical Oceana palette obviously because that has a lot of pinks and peaches which I really like my big fluffy brush and like put this light pink in my crease kind of as a transition go in my slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with this dark pink mixed with this orange shade I'm just gonna like put that from my crease and my inner and outer corner because I want to do a halo eye and no I don't have any fake lashes today sorry <laughs> if I had fake lashes I'll definitely use them because this is a crazy look this is kind of similar to my first impressions but not in this kind of shaped brush which is a bit stained and I'm gonna g just go in the pink and kind of like do like a round shape on my eyes like a bit in the crease more like not as blended out I don't even know what I mean but I'm just gonna do that <laughs> I'm also going to use this to run the pink under my eyes. Now I'm going to use my Collection Last and Perfection Concealer to do a halo eye. I'm going to use the shade, what's it called? I'm going to use the shade Joy, which is this one very light shimmery pink which I really like. I should have kept my bake on for eyes. But I really like this shade. I use that dark shimmery pink on the edges, just literally on the edges to kind of make it look less flat. Although it is all shimmery. <laughs> oh my god, that actually looks quite nice. She's in it. Just put a bit of highlight on the inner corners. Just a bit. Now I want to mascara. I'm going to use my Miss Baby Roll mascara, obviously. And I'm going to curl my lashes before I do that. I'm awful at curling my lashes, like look at that, it's a mess. 
just gonna put my mascara on now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna first put on my Barry M green colour changing lipstick. <laughs> so I just like took the oily like, bits off and just left the stain. I'm gonna go over that with my PS liquid lipstick. And I just like the, to blend out the edges like I do with any pink lipstick some like highbrow lip gloss which is from B&M's I'm just going to use this shade this is really nice just put a pink lip gloss on the, end, on the outside of my lips to darken it a bit like an ombre. If you like the quality, it was really bad in this video, but I'm still gonna put it down. And that is my Valentine's inspired makeup. I'm actually really happy with my eyes. This is like the best I've ever done. I've got a load of products on my lips, but oh well. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, then I'll do more like this. I could do like colour themed makeup. I could do blue next, or green, or yellow. I don't have yellow green <laughs> or purple I don't know also subscribe because why not and who wouldn't want to be subscribed to this just look at me I am perfect JK I'm not perfect <laughs> and yeah I'll see you next time bye